Orochi. Wait your time, buddy. We're on our way. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we got all the ingredients for Orochi's appetizer so it could be delivered to him, thus opening up our means of accessing his lair to rescue Kushi. This episode, we're going to be doing just that. We're going to be starting off at the bottom of the elevator shaft and working our way up. Let's go. This episode, we will defeat the main evil of this game. Man, this LP has been so good. And man, now it all comes to a close here. Let's go up. Phew, that sure was stressful. I wish I hadn't seen Lord, o Lord Orochi's throne room. There is just something about that place that terrifies me. Sorry, pal. <laughs> pal. But would you mind taking this elevator to that throne room again? Whoa, what? Are you insane? Oh, come on, please. I mean, I want to take a peek at Lord Orochi's throne room, too. Man, Eastern's really getting in character. Come on, just this once. But, 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 we're just Lord Orochi's lowly underlings. Lord Orochi will gobble us up if we barge in during dinner. You really want to see the throne room that bad? Really want to go? Uh, I think so. Full godhood, full everything. Uh, I think I'm ready. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, ha, I can see it in your eyes. You're really too scared to go look. Now stop fooling around. Uh, at the In the end slate of last episode, I swapped out my weapons, so I want to swap them back. I went down to the Devout Beads, because that's actually easier to get Godhood if you uh, go down a weapon tier, because then you're doing less damage, but you're still, still doing the same amount of attacks. So it's actually easier to get Godhood, because you're not killing enemy, so I actually switch, so, okay, now we're ready, uh, let me make sure everything's in order, mostly just, I'm stalling, oh, uh, we have everything powered up, right, oh, wait, what? We never powered up the life beads? Are you kidding me? Really? Really? I never upgraded the life beads. Really? Okay, what, uh, that, that just makes me facepalm. Uh, well, I'm glad I I checked that. Uh, okay, I'm ready to go up now that I upgrade my weapon. Um, this big furball here, or I mean, I changed my mind. I really want to go see Lord Orochi's throne room. Come on, pretty please. Won't you just take this elevator to the throne room again? You're not serious, are you? We're just. Oh, he says the same thing. Okay. Yes, I want to see it that badly. Let's go. I can see that you won't change your mind. I'll take you to the throne room if you really want to go that bad. After all, I was born to op uh, operate the elevator. Wow. That's communism for you. I was born to do this position. I don't care about anything. I have no life goals. I just want to eat licorice all day because that's what communism told me to do. Motherland. I don't know why I gave him that voice. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, do stuff. Uh, there's a merchant here. Huh? What do you want in a place like this? Hmm. Now here's a new face. Coming here shows great bravery. Want an offering for Lord Odochi? There's plenty here. Do some shopping. Make sure that there's nothing new. I have nothing to sell, right? What? Oh, apparently I have more stuff to sell. Okay, that's sold. Wow! We are already up to 60,000 yen. That's amazing. Okay, I have nothing to buy. Uh, I'll buy one more infant... Inf inf oh, wait, I sold it. Derp. <laughs> I always get that confused. I'll buy one more... Two more infinity stones, because I sold one. That stinks. Uh, three more of these. And I don't want to buy three of these. That's, that's just insanely priced. And I think that's good. <sighs> We're ready to take on Orochi. Yeah, this appetizer reeks. Let's leave this disgusting thing alone. That Orochi's gonna gobble up poor Kushi if we don't hurry. Let's go find that big worm. Okay. Now we have not. Well, we've seen Orochi a couple of times, or we've seen what it seems like he's he looks like. Also, I just saved, but I don't. I'll do that anyway. It's also a really weird place to put Golden Gate. You'd think they'd put it right here on the way, but they put it in a nook like that. That's weird. So anyway, 
Let's go ahead and walk up this pathway. Huh, crazy plot twist if this pathway was Orochi. I and mean, it does kind of look like a snake. But it's probably not. No, certainly not. He's over there. Actually, wait. Oh, he's not even there. Oh, well, we can just go get Kushi and leave. Uh, all those all those sounds we've been hearing is just uh, some imp listening to modern rock. Okay. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why? This is a tongue. We're on, like, a tongue statue. That's creepy. But anyway. Kushi's down there somewhere. Uh, Ami, look, over there. There she is. She hasn't been eaten yet. She's alive. But she is surrounded on all sides by Orochi. <laughs> and there's the lightning head not knowing what's going on. Oh, wild god of the heavens. 100 years have passed since you imprisoned me here. How is it that you have come back after perishing and turning into stone? 100 years in a cold, stony tomb. You reek of de decay. I've heard enough. Bottoms up, big guy. That was our only shot. All right, Orochi, uh, what you want to do starting off is immediately uh, start running because you'll build up momentum. And when he tries to attack, you want to try to attack him because he'll make himself vulnerable. But it seems he has a barrier up. That cheater has a barrier up. What are we going to do now? Any bright ideas for a ball? Run, Kushi! Run! Where? Hold it right there, vile serpent! Susano has come to the rescue. Susano! You came! I knew you'd come! Have no fear. Susano's here! Orochi and I have a score to settle. Pops? Long have I awaited your coming, O oh descendant of Nagi. Now we shall fulfill this burning desire which has consumed us. The descendants of Nagi have kept me imprisoned here for 100 years. Yet it is that accursed bloodline that shall unleash my true power. A pact between Nagi's descendant and I, the great Orochi, shall deliver unto me dark powers beyond all comprehension. Let us seal the blood pact for all eternity. What in the world? What in the world? Serpent breath is is talking about? A blood pact with the Susano will unleash Orochi's true power? Oh, he who seeks power, your first chance slipped through your grasp. But now the time has come for us to seal our eternal bond. Speak the words, I wish darkness upon the world. Utter that prayer unto me and seal our blood pact. You too shall gain dark powers beyond all comprehension. Orochi's trying to tempt Susano. I bet that sneaky serpent was the one giving Pops those nightmares. Now, utter that prayer. Let the words come from deep within. Recite the words of our blood pact. Will he do it? Oh, I shall. 
I am the descendant of Nagi. Behold, Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. Hear me, vile serpent who would seek to harm a helpless woman. Your time is up. Feel the wrath of my trusty sword. Foolish beast, did you really think you could deceive me? The only pact for me is the one that comes with my bloodline. It is my fate to fall battling evil, or if it is my fate to fall battling evil, then so be it. I seek help from neither god nor demon. The heroic bloodline of Nagi is all I require to slay you. Glittering gold sake? Is that eight purification sake, Ami? It is. Susano and Kushi made a miracle happen. Time to work your magic, Ami. So, the true battle with Orochi. Uh, immediately you want to run, and when the fire head, because there are eight heads representing eight of the elements, uh, whenever the firehead spits fire, you want to immediately use Gale Storm to blow that fire away. And as soon as it gets frustrated, we want to use that opportunity to use... Wait, just a second. Your stupid face doesn't scare us, you big worm. Quick, Ami, the sake! Shoot the eight purification sake right into Oroji's gaping mouth. That we will. As soon as he gets frustrated, we want to blow the, uh, the sake right into his mouth with water spout. It is not water, but it's still liquid, and it will work. So, let's go ahead and do that, and intoxicate the head with 8 Purification Sake. It's working! Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, you big worm. Keep it coming, Ami. And we want to do the same with another head. Uh, actually, no, we don't. It takes two rounds of Sake to intoxicate the heads and put them out of commission for... Good, so let's go ahead and do that, and intoxicate him again, and that will bring him into, uh, drunkness. That's one down. Don't stop there. Let's get all the other heads drunk, too. So, let's do exactly that by moving over to the Earth Head! And it took it a level of godhood. Okay, let's go ahead and attack it, and it will roar in frustration, and let's use that opportunity to intoxicate it. We lost one level of godhood, but I don't really mind. Okay, it'll try to attack again, and jump! There we go, and then we avoided the attack, thank goodness. Go ahead and attack it, and it will try and taunt us, and we'll intoxicate this one completely. Now, this is the Poison Head. Its weakness is Gale Storm once again. We want to use Gale Storm and blow away the poison, or else it will hurt us. Who'd have thunk it? So, now that's frustrated, let's go ahead and intoxicate it. Now, it only takes three intoxicated heads to move Orochi over to the next phase. So, this is the last head we need to do so. Let's go ahead and blow away this poison. And intoxicate the head. And that's it. Now that the heads are intoxicated, we can now reach Kushi. And that is our hint to ring the Epicurean Bell. If you remember in the Moon Cave, that caused, har that caused harm. And at this point, it'll cause good because it's his weakness. However, we have a great advantage, and that is in the form of a Exorcism Slip L. That will take out the bell in one hit. So let's go ahead and do that and hit his weak point. And now we've pinned the, all the heads, so they're not going to be moving anywhere, although they will be attacking us. Okay, let's go ahead and start this battle off proper. Actually, it looks like the uh, Firehead wants some of that. And we can go ahead and fight this head. And he attacked us for some reason. The worm's down. Looks like that barrier is finally dissolved. If that's the case, then you're free to finish Odorchi off with your weapons and brush. That we will. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and... Wow, we can intoxicate this one too. Wow, okay. Let's go ahead and attack this now. 
with the source, new source of Inferno via the fire on Odorchi's back, we can actually harm him. This does more harm than Power Slash, you, so you definitely want to use Inferno instead of Power Slash. You can also use uh, Exorcism Slips, but I'm not really into, the, into that. So let's go ahead and move over here and attack this head while that other one's winding up and attack this one with Inferno and do a ton of damage and let's go ahead and finish off this one then we'll move over to the other one. It missed and roar. Come on, roar. I dare ya. Okay. Let's go ahead and take out the earth head. Wait, what? There we go. Okay. And the other heads will try to take a swing at us so you want to stay right in front and center of this head. Okay, let's go ahead and do this and take it out with fire. And there it is. It's down for the count. When it gets low on health, if you use fire, it'll pretty much uh, finish off the last chunk of health. And also, you do not want to stay in one spot for too long. Because if you do, rocks will come down from the sky and hurt you. So you do not want by any means to do that. Okay, let's go and finish off this head because it's very low on health. And we can move over to the right this time over to the darkness head. And let's go and finish this off. And there we go. It's down for the count. Jump. Now, if you manage to counter their their uh, non-elemental attack, you will actually get a Demon Fang from that. Well, just out of range. You'll get a Demon Fang from that, although this is not by any means the time to grind. This is the time to finish Orochi off once and for all. Okay, let's go ahead and use uh, Inferno here and do some good damage. Wow. Okay, Inferno again. And will this finish it off in one go? It will. Wow, okay. I'm glad that I upgraded the life beats. Okay, uh, that was the darkness head. We actually didn't get to see its attack. Although, if we had, it would have... Uh, is that right? Uh, yeah, if we had seen the darkness head's attack, it would had have summoned uh, Konohana bl buds that once they had bloomed on their own, they would have caused a mini curse zone. But by blooming them, they would have given us ink pots. Now, with the wind head, it will summon up tornadoes or cyclones to try and toss us in, into the air. A simple use of Gale Storm will dispel that threat and enable us to take out this head as well. Okay, let's see if we can do this one in one go as well. Uh, we have full godhood, which I'm really excited about. Actually, let me go and pause and y make use of a Steel Fist Sake because that will help us leap in, leaps and bounds. In fact, wow. Yeah, I should have used that right off. Jump! Okay, now, for the water head, uh, this one's attack is probably the most annoying. It will cause water to fill the screen, and, okay, uh, it will summon platforms. You immediately want to jump these platforms and attack this, because that will cause the water to disappear and cause it to become vulnerable. However, if you were to let the water stay there for too long, it would actually summon those eels, which hurt us, and they're still around for some reason, which is not a good thing. Uh, I may have to counter them, which I did jump. Okay, they're gone. Okay, now for the lightning head. This actually has a kind of an in-joke with the developers. Oh, and also, you cannot counter this attack. You just want to avoid it. The in-joke with the developers is that it quickly it becomes confused more than any of the other heads because it is opposite the fire head, which is the leader. So it's actually, um, it's actually kind of less less aware of things that are going on. Okay, now that it's... It's also less aware because it falls for the same trick just like all the other heads do. Now, the reason for this is not just because uh, Odorchi's gullible, it's because all the heads work with different minds, so... And also, they can't really see what's going on with, the other, with their other heads, so they'll fall prone to the same trick over and over. So, this is the light head, the second to last head we have to defeat. Okay. This is it, guys. 28 episodes and it's coming down to the wire okay uh now you constantly want to be moving because fire comes down every single second now you didn't really get to see it when i first mentioned it but now you do okay do we still have a steel fist sake in full effect i'm not sure so I'm, let's go ahead and use another one okay let's go ahead and take this down finish it off with fire burn the head off and let's go ahead and defeat the, po the poison head once again Okay, same as before, it has no new attacks, you just want to blow away the poison with Gale Storm. And once you do that, then you can take this last head out. Oh boy, let's do it. Save Kushi and all of Nippon.
Let's end this vile tradition. And cut this head off. The time has come. O oh, sacred moon of the heavens, come forth and pierce this darkness. Bear witness to the beast's de demise upon my trusty sword, Tohen Boku. Did he say moon? Right. The legend says the moon was shining when Nagi slew Orochi. There's Orochi. And Nagi. Let's do it. The most manly sword. Susano style blade of truth Good Will Never Give In Two Evil Finish it off, Ami! No, Fido. I don't need your help this time. He knew we were helping him. Now for the ultimate in Susano-style martial arts. Celestial Cleaver! Oh, that's style. That's style, Susano. I need to take notes on that. Dearest Kushi, just as you devote your life to sake brewing, the way of the sword is all I know. Yet I have failed, for I have unleashed that foul beast upon the world. I allowed evil to cloud my judgment. Who am I to claim the right to wield a sword now? Alas, there is no reason for me to live. Oh, Susano, why do you look so serious? Come on, laugh like you normally do. Looking like that is what makes m monsters turn up. So come on, laugh. Laugh like you do when you help me harvest the rice every year. Why are we getting a weapon, you ask? Well, you'll see. You obtained Divine Instrument, uh, Sumagari. Tilt the Wiimote up and hold for a charged attack with Orochi's Glaive. And so it came to pass that, 100 years after its first defeat, the dreadful Orochi succumbed to Matarasu and Susano's onslaught. As the foul breath left Orochi's twisted body, the curse lifting, a powerful sword known as Sumagari appeared. It was reborn, a re the reborn form of Sukuyomi, which had been consumed by Orochi. Armed with this new blade, Amaterasu prepared for further adventure. At that moment, a mysterious evil force emerged from Orochi's corpse. 
splitting off in all directions and flying off into the distant sky. At that time, no one had, the, had any inkling as to just what that force was. The truth is, the real calamity and chaos had yet to visit the world. But for the time being, Kamiki found itself enjoying a new era of peace. Our story, however, is far from over. In fact, it's just beginning. That's right, Ami. We're just getting started. I mean, we can't let a great adventure simply end like this. Now give me one of those famous victory howls of yours. Yeah! Or shall I say, ha ha ha! I got a perfect rank on Orochi! That's how you do it! At last! At last, the time has come! The unseverable bonds between heaven and earth. Waka, the situation has grown urgent. You must return to the city at once. Tres bien! Amaterasu, you may have slain Orochi this time, but do not do not assume it will be so easy the next. This episode isn't quite over. The darkness is gone, and now we have a beautiful nighttime sky. Check out that starry sky. I know they're up there somewhere, my furry friend. Those constellations of the brush gods are just waiting to be found. And it looks like Kamiki is actually having a festival this time. There's happiness to be had and more adventure to be shared. Whoa, there mu that must be some of Thomas' fireworks. Wonder if the villagers are already found out that Orochi's dead. Oh, I know, it must be the festival. They just started the annual Kamiki festival. Oh yeah! Time to party, Furball! Back to the village, hurry! Would you like to save the game? Yes, because this episode is over. Next episode, we will be sharing in the celebrations of Kamiki Village. This adventure is not by any means over, guys. We are about halfway through the game, if that. Uh, actually, you know what? No. We're less than halfway through the game. That's why I love this game so much. It's actually pretty much a two-part game. You know, there's one main storyline, but there's more to this game, and it's not just bonus episodes. I just want to make sure that you guys know that there's so much more adventure to be had. My favorite parts of the game are still yet to come. So I hope you guys join me next time on a Tuesdays, Thursdays, or Tuesdays, Thursday, or Saturday for Pal Plays Okami. If you like this episode, which you should, I mean, it was a fantastic episode. There's battle, there's humor, it was amazing. If you like this episode, comment in the comment section. If you didn't like this episode, comment and tell me how I could make next episode so that you would like it. So, I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami.